Hey guys, my name is Colleen. I do art tutorials. Subscribe. So this time around, we're gonna draw a cute anime girl on Ibis paint. So I'm already starting with the basic guidelines. So first, I drew the circle followed by a cross that's slightly facing to the left. After that, we're gonna draw the jawline as shown. So just make the cheeks a little bit chubby and then make the jaw just a bit rounder compared to like anime boys. At the end of the jawline, we draw the ears. Then draw a curve in the middle of the cross. This will be our guide for the eyes. For the eyes draw a curve and then a circle inside so just thicken the lines and add eyelashes and more details I used the lasso tool to move the eyes a bit lower. Afterwards, I drew the nose and the mouth. So the nose is actually like around the intersection of the cross while the mouth sort of looks like a bowl. I cleaned up my sketch and added more details like the eyebrows. Then I used the transform tool to just mess around with my sketch until I'm satisfied. Afterwards, I drew the hair. So I started in the middle with a big curve like this, then I added more curvy spikes like so. In the bottom, I drew a curvy line, so I used this as a guide for the ends of the hair. So when I'm satisfied with my sketch, I made another layer and set the previous layer's opacity to a minimum. So now we're gonna work on our line art. So I picked a thin brush and basically just traced over my sketch. However, I made sure not to copy it completely because I had to make a couple of corrections on the things that I didn't like. Also, as you guys notice, I'm making some lines thicker. This is to make my lines more interesting, so I drew the line art some more. So from time to time, I would look at my line art without the sketch so I could make sure that it doesn't look like crap, but it was okay so far. I also use the mesh tool to create any deformities. Moving on, I drew the body. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but if you want, you could follow along. So I basically made this turtleneck and then a couple of lines inside just to like show the texture of the fabric. I also drew this suspender thingy on her shoulders. So 
So once we're done with our line art, it's time to color. So first off, to make things easier, you could just use the magic wand tool or the bucket tool to color the skin. So the magic wand tool is only going to allow you to color a certain part of your drawing. So I just kind of changed the skin color until I kind of liked the color. So I made another layer and then I did the same with the hair in that other layer. Afterwards, I selected a slightly reddish color and used the airbrush tool to create a sort of blush around the nose. Then I color the eyes and the mouth. Lastly, I colored the clothing. So I just used like this neutral brown color. For the final touch, I clicked on Alpha Lock on my line art layer and used an airbrush to color the line art layer. So this is going to allow you to change the color of your line art. Okay, so watch this quick video real quick if you want to see the whole process without all the zooming in and stuff. And this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Stay cool!